Monday morning. Already 18 degrees Celsius here in British Columbia. Um, look, it's 64 already if you happen to live in northern Washington state. So it's going to be a hot one. There's no doubt about that. It's been a very, I think I have to say, eventful. <laughs> weekend. Um, just amazing. I had no idea it was going to be that much fun, quite honestly. Um, I've got hair. You've got that way. You feel there's a hair somewhere and you can't find it. Anyway, um, anyway so I just didn't think that this was going to be a fun weekend or because of what I had in it. The first thing was, as some of you know, um, I had to go to a funeral on Saturday. Now, that's not high on your list of fun things to do. Well, it's not high on my list anyway, it might be in yours. But I was really, really so fortunate um, that I, after the ceremony ha was done, we all went downstairs to the reception, and I just happened to pick a totally empty table, and I picked it at the far end of the room, but close to the staircase where you could get out in a hurry if you wanted to. Uh, because family would be unlikely to sit there, you know what I mean? It would be outside friends, which I am. So it was really quite funny because these other four people all gravitated to the same table. And guess what? We were all very like-minded, very funny. And uh, it was just a delight. I've never said that before, I don't think. To go to a funeral and actually come out of there laughing. And we'd planned to even meet up again. So that was very eventful. Uh, it was a great idea. Anyway, so that was that. And then... Guess who came to visit me? It's just about the time I got home. It was Benji. And for those of you who know and Judy and Benji and the children, um, bless his heart. You know, he, I just about got home and there was this telephone call and, hi mum, can I come and visit? He knows not to pay surprise visits. <laughs> you don't pay surprise visits in my house. You give me warning you're coming. <laughs> so I ran through the house very quickly. Um, getting rid of the laundry that I had in the dining room for some reason. Um, I don't know if you've ever had moments like that. If you live alone, you'll understand, I'm sure, except for those of you who are perfect. Anyway, so I was quickly rushing around the house, you know, gathering up things that were where they shouldn't have been. And then, bless his heart, he came to visit on the bike, which I always love. Um, so I, I gather that Judy was doing one sweep with the family and Benji came and did the sweep with me if you know what I mean so they're, they're getting the biggest bang for their buck so it was really nice he didn't stay long about half an hour which was half an hour more than I normally get so that I was very very grateful um, but it was the funniest thing because we're both sitting outside on my rocking chairs um, blogging away <laughs> vlogging away <laughs> when we're both vlogging each other which I thought was really cute but here's the reason why it was really eventful. Um, I hadn't really thought about that, but um, when it went up on their vlog, suddenly we got an influx of visitors that hadn't been to visit before, and also a whole lot of subscribers that we haven't had before. So I really wanted to welcome everybody and say how wonderful, what a great event um, to have got to meet you all over the the course of the last 24 hours. Um, I've been really busy trying to answer comments on the vlog, so I think I'm just about up to date now. You know, I pride myself in trying to get that done. It's, it gets to be hard work as we grow, I must say. But a couple of words of um, advice for the newbies. 
And first of all, a big welcome to you and a big virtual hug. And thank you for yeah, making the decision to actually check us out rather than just presume that we didn't have anything to offer you. Um, just a little bit about the channel. I'm sort of like, if you like, the front guy for a lot of wonderful people. And I think I'd word it that way. And so if any of you are um, struggling with anything, be it loneliness, depression, agoraphobia, you, know, you name what it is that you're struggling with, um, we've got viewers who probably will relate to you perfectly. And over the two years that we've been doing this, well, it'll be two years next month, we've helped an incredible amount of people. And we pride ourselves in our ability to do that. So here are a couple of things that I would recommend you do if you're a newbie or if you haven't done it before. Obviously, um, subscribe um, to the YouTube side of it so you can be kept up to date. And what I do is I do um, a quick vlog every day on my way to work or nearly every day. No, every day, I think. So that's four times a week because I only work four days a week. Um, and then um, we do four broadcasts over the weekends and sometimes you'll get some extra video over the weekends depending on what I'm up to. And we also sometimes do surprise broadcasts. So here's the thing that I really recommend. Make sure that you are subscribed to the Dear Mama Sal Facebook page and also to the Twitter feed, also just under Dear Mama Sal. It's very easy. D-E-A-R-M-A-M-A-S-A-L. Because um, if you're subscribed to those, we, whenever I do a broadcast, I always give, I think I really always give anyway, at least um, 30 minutes warning that we're about to do a broadcast. The other thing is we do our broadcast pretty much on a schedule. And if you want to see that schedule, uh, you can find it at the DearMamaSal.com site on the right-hand side of the page. You just scroll down the right-hand side and it will um, it'll show you the, the different times that we broadcast and where. Now, just for those of you who are new, if you've never been on a broadcast, we don't ask you to come up on camera unless you want to, because um, you will see some people on camera. Um, especially on the one server which is Tiny Chat. Um, on the other one which is called Vaughan, only I can broadcast. Uh, but occasionally we get people to phone in and we talk to them. So the Dear Mamasal broadcasts are really about having an extended family of people who care. And I know you're saying, how can they care? They don't even know me. Well, you'll be surprised. You will be really surprised how much they can care. Um, and we have a lot of viewers who will tell you they care a whole lot more than they would have thought they would at a very deep level. So we like to think that we're a safe place to come to if you just want to come and hang out or if you feel like some support or if you like to give support and we try and time the broadcast so that they suit both the European market and the North American market so hopefully we will get to meet some of you soon but feel free if you're not sure about how to do it feel free to drop me a line um, just write to me at dearmamasal at gmail.com and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Now the other thing is that I am pretty good about returning uh, emails and comments. And I want to say that so that if you actually want to just write to me and tell me what's going on, if you'd like some input, um, please feel free to do that at dearmamasal at gmail.com. Okay, 
So very eventful. So we're going to meet lots of new people over the course of the next little while. And I'm sure even more so because one of the things that Benji and I were just firming up was that um, I'm going to go down and join them at the Seattle uh, Vlogathon or whatever it's called, Vlogger Fair or whatever, um, that's happening in August. So I am so excited about doing that. Um, it's really... I, I just have such fun memories of doing their last meet and greet when they were up here with them and I just loved every moment of it. So anything I can do to repeat that is just wonderful. Ah, look at that, I'm behind a snail. I'm going to smile sweetly for those of you who saw my OMG video of a few days ago. You will know that I have a whole new respect for snails suddenly. And this one is a Mercedes. Doing exactly the speed limit. Right. Interesting. <coughs> so, a very eventful weekend all around. Uh, it required that I shift around my usual schedule quite a bit to fit everything in. But the good news is that I did all of that. I was pretty tired, I found, uh, by last night. And I had a very bad night's sleep. Um, not quite sure what that was about. I kept waking up every hour or so, and it was just like, really? <laughs> I want to sleep now. And then, of course, until you have to get up, and then you really want to sleep. Never mind. The good news is I woke up. And the good news is I'm not late for work. So I'm quite happy. So I'm hoping that you'll have a very eventful day. And that the events in the day will make you happy. As the events in my weekend did. And I often wonder whether it's the law of attraction. You know, did that many fun people join my table because I looked like a fun person? Or was it just coincidence? I don't know. I know at least one of them said that the reason that they came to the table was because it was close to the staircase and I looked like that's the reason why I sat there as well and they liked that. So maybe sometimes we attract events. <laughs> I'm pretty sure we do. <laughs> so big hug to everybody. Have a really great day. May it be eventful in the pleasantest of ways. And uh, we'll chat to you soon. This is Dear Mama Sal saying bye-bye for now.